So before I dive into values though, I want to take a bird's eye view of painting in general and talk about those other things. What are all the things that we think about as a painter? And what are all the things that we could intentionally focus on in order to get better at painting? In my opinion, there are four things that comprise the skill of painting. Four things that you can focus on piecemeal in order to level up your artwork. So those four aspects of art are drawing, values, color, and edges. So drawing, like, you know, not just a pencil drawing, but the accuracy of the mark making that you create. So there's drawing in paintings as well. Drawing is putting the marks in the right place, measuring out so things are the proper distances from each other, measuring out so angles are correct. And then after drawing, you've got values, which is what we're going to be focusing on in this video. And that is um, the lightness and darkness in your drawing, which is expressing um, the sense of light in your subject. And then you've got color. We all know about color. That's an understanding of uh, the correct local color of objects, understanding temperature shifts, like when things should get warmer or cooler, um, all of those things. And then the fourth and final aspect of painting is edges. That's something I'll do a video on later, but basically what I mean by that is the, uh, the hardness or softness of your line. And if that's something you've never considered before, well, um, yeah, we'll talk about it in the future. It's kind of a funny thing. A little bit hard to understand, but um, once you get it, I think there's a lot of maturity and uh, interest you can add to your paintings. But I would say edges is not as important for um, beginners as drawing values and color. So that's the bird's eye view of what painting is. And um, getting better at art, I would say, at least the pattern that I do to improve in art is thinking about it in terms of bringing up my individual stats in these four areas. Kind of like a nerdy video game. <laughs> I don't know why I say nerdy. I'm a proud video game player. But if you've ever played any of those fantasy RPGs or anything like that, your player has stats that they can build up. They can increase their strength. They can increase their dexterity. And uh, as those stats go up, you get stronger. And that's what it's like with artwork too. As you improve your drawing, your values, your color, and your edges, these are individual stats that are um, leveling you up. Some people tend to look at the things they're good at in terms of focus on what you're strong in and forget about all the other stuff. So, for example, you might think of, um, I don't know, Tiger Woods, you know, shouldn't spend all of his time learning to get good at basketball. He should just focus on golf and get great at that. But I don't think of art in that sense, of pouring everything into a single strength you have, neglecting all other unrelated stuff. <clears throat> Excuse me. The way I look at it is I see my own personal strength as art, and any little thing that I can feed into that to improve my strength in art, um, I'll nurture that. So, for example, Tiger Woods, you know, is probably not going to spend a lot of time working on basketball, but um, Tiger Woods may spend a lot of time lifting weights because that's something that can improve his golf game, even though it's not specifically a golf kind of thing. And in fact, I think Tiger Woods was the person who popularized lifting weights as a golfer, and uh, that's one of the reasons why he could hit a golf ball so far. <laughs> I'm revealing that I know absolutely nothing about sports, so I hope that made any sense. <laughs> I'm like the least sportsy person in the world, uh, much to my dad's chagrin growing up. He loves sports. So anyways, that's the bird's eye view of all the things that it takes to be a good painter. Mm -hmm.